Woo! Here I am. I hear that uh, people trust a man who wears glasses more than a man who doesn't. Or intelligence, or something like that. They're actually just blue light filters that, that block that, that block that, that, that horrible blue light. So welcome back, and ladies and gentlemen, today I've got a super, super, super fast tutorial for you just to show you exactly how to make smooth animations on Premiere Pro. I'm gonna just walk you through the fast ways that I work with Premiere Pro every single time, so, and then I'll talk you through it when we get there. So right click in your project folder, new item, sequence, square format, which is for Facebook and uh, Facebook con uh, content. I'm going to change my sequence settings to 1920 by 1080 by going to sequence, sequence settings, and changing that to 1920 by 1080 with the square pixels important. So here we are, let's create some text to make a smooth animation with by clicking the text icon there, clicking it in our, in our work screen thingy, I don't know what it's called, it's called a program sequence thingy. Yeah. Now to use our essential graphics panel to really help refine our text. So there's two ways I'm going to show you how to do this. There is the fast way and there is the little bit longer way, which is more juggling around with you. But first up, the fast way. So we've got our text on the timeline. Let's add some motion into it. So first one I'm going to do is the, uh, the fast way. That's the one. So let's go to about where we want the text to fly in at on the timeline. So let's position our blue bar there, which as you can see in your effects panel, it is working at the same, it's copying it where it's gonna be. But the one in the effects panel is tailored towards just that, that object, that layer, that text. Just before two seconds in, I want to add my keyframe of my position because that's where I want it to come in at. And let's just go back wherever, depending how we can adjust that later and move our text up and out. So, so far, we have some boring text coming in. So now to add the smooth part, all we do is select both keyframes, right click on them both, go to temporal interpolation, I think it's cool, and then select easy in and easy out. So people ask me why I do this rather than using continuous bezier or whatever, is because it automatically adds in that curve. So if I drop down this, for example, it'll have a nice hump like that. But if I do it the other way, let me just quickly show you it will be still boxy. And yes, it's as simple as just doing that, but I find that it's quicker and, and that it works a lot better by doing it individually and gives it that easy lump. So if you wanted to go fast, you could literally do with just that. And you've got some smooth text animation. So you've got some text right there, bosh. Adjusting the hump, you can adjust the speed of the, which you wanted to come in. Let's make that go out. So all we need to do is go to where we want the text to leave, add a keyframe using this little diamond here, and then going across a bit, and then taking it down and out. There we go. We now have some text coming in and going out. Beautiful. So that is a very fast way of creating motion just by using temp uh, interpolation, whatever it's called, temporal interpolation, and using easy in and easy out will add the weighted and create smoothness. Now I'm gonna take you on to the next bit of where we can create smooth text using a little bit of a different way. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either use directional blur, which can be a bit of a ball ache, or we can do the whole thing within a transform layer. So let's go and do that. So starting out, let's go to our effects, searching for transform, go to distort, transform, drag and drop that on our clip. And now go over to the effects controls and you can see your transform effect in there. So let's do the exact same thing that we've just done. So there we go, we have our text, we have our effect on our text. The difference is with using a transform layer is that it is an effect in itself, so it kind of, you know, um, you can still adjust uh, other parts of it, which is I, what I prefer to do. So there we go, I could decrease the scale of it, I can even move it around the around the, the screen, and, uh, and it's not gonna disrupt anything. So now, now we've got our smooth title in, it's time to add some, some motion blur to that. We find it while it's in motion. Here, it's now in motion. If we just turn up our shutter angle, you can start to see that we're creating some motion blur. Beautiful motion blur. There we go. It's literally the easiest thing to do. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this very fast tutorial just to show you because I, I realise that there's a lot of people searching these kind of stuff, so, but there's videos that are like 20 minutes long. So I hope this uh, you found this interesting. I hope it isn't too long. 
Thank you. Stick around for more. Uh, make sure to follow me down in my links below. And if you want to see more content like this and tutorials, make sure to stick around. I do everything to do with filmmaking. So I will see you in the next one.